So it's pretty amazing to me how this project we're sitting in and under um, came about. It's a culmination of the right conversations with the right people at the right time, not by coincidence, um, but driven by purpose and, and an incredible amount of synchronism. Uh, back in 2014, when Cindy and David came to Serena Salzman with an idea to build a school, I'm not sure they fully understood the impact that conversation would have. Serena, as we all know, has a brilliant mind that immediately knows how to connect the dots and connect people. Um, and I would imagine it started with, you want to start a school? This is how we're going to do it. She connected the Higgins with Donna Viglioni. Her persistence to bring education opportunities to Todos Santos was like none other. She's the founder of the Puente Bridge to English program, as we all know, and she is one of the most influential people and in the reason we are all standing here or sitting here. You want to start a school? This is how we're going to do it. Um, in a very Donna way, she immediately started connecting people just similar to Serena. Dale Townsend, Elena Moreno, Brenda Casillas, David Puckett, and myself. I'll never forget that conversation I had with her sitting at Cafe Todos Santos drinking a latte. She told me about the project. She told me that it was already underway and that she was going to hand it off to me. I was like, what? <laughs> I have no experience in buying land or finding land or building anything. And I have certainly have no idea how to start a school. Um, but she said, I know. And after this, you're going to have the experience. Oh, and by the way, I'm leaving. And this is on you. So I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> Balava believes in you. Go. Um, and so I am forever grateful for her persistence and her belief to make this all happen and to bring me into this project. So the land was purchased and the architecture kit committee was formed. Higgins, David and Cindy Higgins, um, Tim Doyle, Hal Butler, Odetta Ciancarelli, Tori Sepulveda, um, myself, and David Puckett. David took our ideas, wants, and needs and put them onto paper and guided us to start visualizing a campus. Early on, it was decided that we weren't just building a school, but we were building a permanent home for the Palapa. Um, a home for all the programs. Jack Nottingham was brought in to be our on-site architect because none of us, except for maybe Hal, knew what we were doing and we were a little in over our heads. Um, Jack is responsible for the final design of these three buildings, the floating staircase, the floating hallways, the indents to create texture and definition on each of these buildings are all Jack. His legacy is in every detail, large or small. Jack, working with you has been an absolute honor and a lifetime experience, once in a lifetime experience. Your attention to detail, large or small, is, I, I can't quite put into words. Your willingness to share your knowledge, your patience, and your wisdom um, is embedded in the school. I think we can all say that you pushed us and challenged us to think and visualize a school that could be stunning and beautiful while remaining subtle and humble. We didn't have to think twice when we hired Gabby and Alejandro from AF Grupo. We knew they were the best in town and we all had our fingers crossed in the very beginning. We hoped they are available and they were available. Uh, the ease and flow of working with Gabby and Alejandro is another example of how special this project has been. We were immediately aligned. Same vision, same attention to detail, complete synchronism. I have helped out my friends with their construction of their homes, and I can truly say that there is no one like Gabby and Alejandro. So while the architecture committee was busy at work, the education committee, which was the same people as the architecture <laughs> committee, <laughs> were meeting at La Esquina on a weekly basis, establishing the vision and the school. Hal Butler and Tim Doyle took their years of experience running schools, leading schools, and maintaining schools, and became the people that we looked to for the countless moments of, is this right? Is this normal? Can we do this? Can we afford this? Hal? <laughs> Hal, you have had 
many late nights <laughs> crunching numbers and thinking about how we can do this. And you are also just thank you <laughs> for your belief in this. Other people on this on this team were Tori Sepulveda, who brought her heart and her passion to the team. Her warmth and her heart and her love of learning is embedded in the mission and the vision of the school. Odetta Ciancarelli was a critical team member of the Education Committee. She brought her big city ideas and challenged us to think bigger and to look at methodologies with fresh approaches. Serena. <laughs> <laughs> who is our process and procedures guru, the queen of keeping us structured and aligned and on topic and on point. Um, forever grateful for what you have done to, for the education committee. So Juan Diego Gonzalez was hired and we entrusted him to get us set certified in under a year, which he did, which no easy feat as we all know. Um, Eric Ochoa, the president of the Palapa Society, we would still be sorting through contracts looking confused if we didn't have him reminding us and guiding us on laws and again, process and procedures. Um, Sharon Morris and Margaret Lawson are the reason we have our incredible science lab and air conditioners. Mark Atala, Thatcher Alexander, and Lee George are our tech team and the reason why we have internet and a somewhat structured tech plan. If you squint your eyes, it's there. <laughs> um, Eric Durazo donated his time and incredible concrete work. Artist Farrow donated her time and her expert knowledge of education programming and countless others who have contrib contributed to this project in some way. By 2017, this campus was completed. Teachers were hired, school was opened with our first two grades of secundaria who are now about to embark on their final year of high school. September 2020, we started the second floor dur during the construction of COVID era, um, which was a, a little baby silver lining because we couldn't be on campus. So we got to build a second floor without having to navigate how. Um, so as we enter this new phase of this project, new faces have joined and have established a forever legacy. I want to thank Judy and Milt Stewart for donating the funds to fully outfit and furnish the upstairs and cool projects that are coming in the future. We are looking at the completion of this phase of the project and we are entering a new, new phase. So Cindy and David, your trust, your belief, your vision for the Palapa is living and breathing. You inspire generosity and creativity and I can't fully put into words how grateful I personally am for your trust and your belief in the Palapa. I'm not sure you fully knew that you were going to have a lasting impact in Todos Santos forever, but here it is. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up, but the end result of this campus, the beauty, the foundation, and everything around us is the culmination of people with an aligned vision of Todos Santos. We did this for one purpose, to create a space for education, a space to broaden the minds of kids, and a space for kids to explore and think beyond what is directly in front of them, a space of opportunity. And absolutely every single one of you have been an integral part of this. Those who are here and those who will be watching via social media. And that's it. <laughs> thank you. I guess what I would say is, first of all, thank you to everyone. This is uh, very, very meaningful to us, as is this whole project, of course. Um, and uh, we are now finished with the, with the main school building, and that's tremendous. Uh, I appreciate all the hard work that, that went into to building it. But uh, I guess I kind of view this as still a work in progress. Uh, there's a lot more that Palapa can do and will be doing in the future to bring even better quality education and a better quality of life to so many people with all of the services that are available uh, here now. Um, it's it's maybe maybe it's more than just uh, a, uh, a a work in progress. Maybe it's a race without a finish line. This will go on and on and on for for years and generations, and we'll get better and better at what we do. And uh, I can tell you that Cindy and I uh, are are behind this. 
100%. Uh, this project, uh, any, anything we can do uh, to help it along, we will do. So thank you very much for this. It's, it's very meaningful to us, and um, we'll see you on that race. Um, as you all know, we thought it was going to be a building. When Serena and I first met, it wasn't even going to be a building. And, and David, it was just going to be some online classes. And then it was like, but I really like Serena's. I really like brick and mortar. And I was like, well, <laughs> anyway, and we pictured this building that like maybe we could have a few classes during the day and then we could get out and then they could come for the library and some and some English classes. And it was going to be like this little square building that could do that. Then this happens and you really do realize how things just have a life of their own. And um, we've, we've created such a strong foundation for the Palapa Society. I will be forever. Um, you know, grateful that this has been the most um, empowering experience I've ever had. And um, um, one of the reasons we are able to, to be able to support such a big project and plan on continuing support um, was a company that my grandfather founded, went down to my father and then my brother and me and now it's on to my brother's kids. But along the way, I sold out. And I know that my parents would be so excited to see this project. Um, my mom was a Phi Beta Kappa. She totally valued education. I guess I just want to capture the moment of this team, like the family. I mean, that sounds corny, but it really is. Um, and it's fun to see you in person. And um, the mission and vision lives on. We sort of tweaked it, and it's even better than ever. And I really think we're going to keep it going. We've got the roots of it, and we've got the future of it. And um, so hope that all of you will continue to come back. I am very, very grateful and very excited. And let the games begin in August. I can't wait to see the kids in the high school. So anyway, enough. I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. This uh, project was not just my thinking. It was a whole team effort. We wouldn't be here if I didn't have it cooperation and the knowledge of all the folks sitting in this audience that, that really helped put it together. And I want to thank Dave and Cindy for bringing me into this really exciting project. And it's, you know, I'm in, still in awe that I was involved and, and I'm very proud to have been a part of it. But without them, without Al, Serena, the other teachers, uh, the staff, it wouldn't have come together very, very easily at all. Jaina worked, ran hurt on everybody and it just kept it all going and we, we appreciate it so much. What proof in the pudding of a project happened on this one and that's project not only came in on time, it came in in budget. In the United States, that doesn't happen at all. <laughs> and my perception of how much this project was going to cost in the very beginning, I thought it'd be three or four million dollars, you know, because I was thinking in American terms, again, American dollars. And uh, so my compliment goes to Gabby and Alejandro for bringing it in, bringing it in not only on time but in budget. That's what we needed and we did it and we did a beautiful job and uh, should be very proud of it. Thank all of you very much for this.
Okay, I will talk in Spanish. <laughs> eh, gracias a todos, a todos ustedes. Este es un gran equipo. Eh, nosotros hicimos la parte de la construcción, pero todo es un proceso y sabemos que Jack eh, hizo un muy buen trabajo con la arquitectura. Cindy, Hanson, Higgins, que pues también participaron bastante. Al eh, Jaina, Serena. Everything, eh, todos son, nos ayudaron bastante y, y gracias por darnos la confianza de, de trabajar con ustedes y, y, a, y hacer esto por, el, por Todos Santos. Eh, para los niños es, pues sí es de gran impacto y, y están cambiando vidas. Y gracias por, por dar la oportunidad a todos los niños de Todos Santos y pues gracias por la oportunidad de trabajar con ustedes.